All right, guys, today we're playing some auction top lane versus Camille. And what we're running this game is PDA Triumph and Lancrity Cutdown. Then we also have Nimbus Cloak. And then we're also running Absolute Focus. Now, this game, I'm going to show you how to carry playing some auction. It's going to be a fun one because I'm going to be abusing the Absolute Focus for more damage. And we also have Ignite for snowballing, obviously. Going to be going for the Blade as a first item. I actually played like... Uh, some previous auction games into a different variety of matchups. This one is the best one so far. But yeah, still, like, Camille can just dash up to me. She can lock me down with the ultimate. So there's there's a couple things that we gotta be uh, a little bit careful about. And they also have a Rengar. Which, well... <laughs> Don't need to tell you. <laughs> if he jumps, we better run. Let's see. This guy went D-Shield. He's going to be healing a lot. Definitely the, the, the first plan is likely Blade as a first item. So I can actually kite down Camille the proper way. It's likely what we're going to do. We'll have to re rely a lot around like keeping the wave in a good position. And I think, I, I think that Rengar, I think he's, um, pathing topside. Hmm. Oh, actually cancel my, oh, oh, you serious? That was going to be such a good proc, because it, it was going to do a lot of damage. Okay, still getting another one. That's fantastic. Some more damage. I think Rengar will appear within like five min. Let's try. Two autos in one. Thank you, passive. We have the Warwick in position two. If he happened to get ganked right now by Rengar, I'll just have to flash. Likely. Ooh, not hitting that one. Two autos? Yep, I do. Actually, I can hit my pro. This might be a really good move or not. Hmm, we got the move. This is not so bad. No assist for me. He's about 100. I think that we are capable of diving it, but somebody's about to die. Yeah, that's what I was slightly worried about. Yeah, somebody needs to die if we want to be able to kill this guy. And I also think that Rengar is probably pathing topside again. Actually, I, like, burned right through every single spell uh, trying to kill Rengar previously. And we didn't even get an assist. I'm really considering, as weird as it sounds, I'm thinking about going for Berserker's Greaves as a first item. But I'm also thinking towards... Well, Recurve Bow, which is not typical for me. I always go Berserker's Greaves, but um, I'm considering it. Let's see. We already have a nice lead. Nice bone plating. Managed to proc it. We have a Warwick in the Tribush, but I don't think that he can do much. Ooh, lost the last right here. I don't think that we can kill him, but he's still like 50%. And we don't have flash for when Rengar ganks the lane, so yeah. I think I'm just going to shove this one. And that's really it. I'm even considering going pickaxe so I can get the item faster. Time to go back. Very well then. We're going to be going Berserk's Greaves. I really want to go Blade as a first item. Like, straight away. But I also know that it's not the most optimal. It wouldn't work very well. Because if you can't kite, like if you don't have movement speed. 
it's going to be a challenge trying to like be Camille, right? We're just going to get jumped on by Camille's E and then we're dying. If we have Berserker's Grease, we can at least sidestep it. If she uh, locks me down with the ultimate, I'm still going to have a bad time. Um, let me see what she's going to do. I'm going to freeze this. We can force the teleport by freezing. Yeah. This will work super well. I wonder what she's going to come back with. I hope it's actually not Sheen, but I think it's going to be like Camille plays can't resist Sheen. That item is way too strong. No teleport yet. So she's actually walking back to lane, I think. Which is perfect because this is actually a cannon wave. If the cannon goes down before she arrives, she will actually lose a lot of XP. Yep. She lost a bunch of XP. Which means for level 7, she is level 6 right now. Just now we just gotta maintain this. I actually want the wave to like start pushing her direction. This is not a good way to play the lane now. It's it's a very safe position, but um, I wouldn't be able to play aggressive this way. It's very hard to do. Gwenping? Am I just gonna leave the lane for this? Wait. It's not very good for him. I think I'm going to use the item advantage here real quick. Nice. And pick up that one. Okay, we're going to get that reset. I will... Um, I'll actually, I'm actually going to bind the recurve bow and longsword. And from that point, we will start playing very aggressive. So the wave will again... Um, it's going to bounce my direction. Okay. If the wave bounces my direction, I'll just have to like push that back into Camille. Um, she will probably teleport if she gets the chance to push this in. But I think if I push it, she won't teleport. Okay. She walk away. She's not going for the last hits anymore. I'm not seeing Rengar. There's the problem. Rengar does not show. I do have a Warwick up here. Nice. Let's push this. Okay. Time to get the plate. I know for a fact that Rengar is still up here, but that's okay with me. If he jumps on me, I'll kill him. I got my passive that will help me out. Nice. Actually, Rengar shows in the river. Hmm. Well, this guy's about to die. Too bad for you, buddy. Uh, this guy has too much HP. Let's run this direction. I want to try and cancel. Nah, never mind. I was thinking about canceling it with my uh, <laughs> with my ultimate, but that's kind of troll because he's not really um, he's not really missing anything if I were to cancel. So it doesn't really make any sense. And let's get back here. Actually, got two kills on the Camille. Sweet. We have uh, doubled the farm on the Camille at the moment. And she hasn't gone steel caps yet. She went for Sheen. 
into Warhammer, which means that her damage is insanely high. As you could see, we went to 1v1. She actually did a lot of damage, but I was just cutting her down. That's really it. I think she saw me, I guess. She probably did. Oh, nice. Got a good hit. The wave is like pushing my direction. We don't really know where Rengar is. So Rengar could be uh, showing up. Okay, Rengar's balling. Nice. And we got him. Fantastic. Now we push. So we do the same thing again. And we can also buy Blade of the King very soon because we need like... How much more? Like, okay, like 500. We can... Um, we can do that. Let's get another plating. Blade of the Rune King is going to be so broken in this matchup. Because it's going to permanently allow me to kite him over and over. It's going to be exactly what I need here. I need like um, 150, which means like one plating. Rengar's ball lane. Just making some good use out of the two autos. If you don't move, you can dish out more damage. Well, this guy's tanky. Four kills. That was uh, a lot of fun. Okay. I uh, I actually want to lane swap. Actually, I don't uh, I don't want to be facing off a four and one uh, Vagar. Actually, I don't want to. But yeah, I guess I don't have much of a choice. <laughs> Um, I am so not happy with what's going on here. I am not happy with this. I don't want to be put up against it. I have no chance against Vagar. Ooh, nice. I got it. Now we shove. Uh, the plates are about to disappear. Yeah, plates are gone. Worst possible moment for plates to disappear. It's actually very upsetting for me. Camille's still dead. Faker's still topside. If Rengar jumps on me, I'm okay with it. He does have Gorge Anchor, so it's going to be tough to kill him. Oh. Goodbye. So yeah, Rengar can reappear. Let me just ward. Okay, Rengar's actually in bot lane. Bottom jungle. Let's see if we can get it now. Nope. We can't. Well, at least no longer. Jin is actually top now versus Vagar. How is he going to make that work? <sighs> Jin topside against Vagar. Hmm. I actually wanted Gwen to be top lane. Let's force this. There's not a chance that Jin can fight up against a Fagar, especially when... <laughs> not even I can, man. This guy is very strong. I think he did use R. So that could work. Oh, he saw me going inside the invisibility, didn't he? Yeah, unfortunately, this is not working. Um, we can't do this. Camille's on the way. Actually, Camille's mid. He's not going for me at all. Impressive. I could actually be able to beat Fagar right now. Hey, there's a vision. Ah. I wasn't able to reach him, at least fully.
Hey, he still had ultimate. So the entire time, he had ultimate. I would never fight him if I knew he had ultimate. I never would have. This is too challenging for me. Uh, technically, I could have died. The Camille could have jumped on me and there was nothing I could have done. Wow. Actually, it went better than I thought. I, I was definitely going to die if he jumped on me. It's not a chance. Oh, well, let's walk by lane. I am not gonna fight this Vagar, despite being 6-0, like, he will pop out the stun on me with the full combo. There's not a chance for me. Absolutely not a chance. That's the that's the difference between Vagar and me. I need time to, like, kill him. He can just, you know, <laughs> pop out, like, three buttons. And then I'm all dead. I need people to set it up. Yeah. Oh, that looks very killable to me. You can't be serious on that one. So, two of them, like, they were such an easy target for me. I'm, I'm very serious. There was no problem, you know, trying to kill the Cam uh, Camille right there, but, like, Rengar came in, like, the worst possible time. Unfortunately, I got my Kraken Slayer now. I think that my next item, like we can go two directions. We can go Infinity Edge, get like an insane large amount of damage off of this item since we already have Kraken Slayer. We can also decide to go for this item for the long range autos and 7% movement speed. I think I'm probably going to go uh, Infinity Edge and then we build the uh, this item next for the movement speed per percentage. I think that's all I need, really. If, if if I get these items, I'm gonna do some pretty ridiculous damage. Technically, on the third auto, we're gonna do a lot already. It's gonna surprise you. Because we can combine my third auto with the Kraken Slayer and also with the PDA. So, yeah, let's see how this is gonna go. I think they saw me, probably. Revive my teammates. Nice. You are Go, <laughs> I'm dead. Ooh, their team comp is ridiculous, man. They have a lot of... You know, like, actually 90% of the team comp is like a straight up counter against me. Because like... Rengar can jump on me with one combo, kill me immediately. Camille can lock me down inside of the, uh, cage me down inside of the ultimate. There's nothing I can do. They have a Fagar who does the exact same thing as well. Like, he can just knock me down inside of a cage. LeBlanc just jumps every single direction, and Tom Kench can knock me up. Like, all five champions in the enemy team are all direct counters to me. In, like, some way or another. <laughs> it's so terrifying. <laughs> Oh man. Alright, let's grab the wave. Pick up next one. Fagers in the river. I want to pick up the red buff as well, actually. I really, really, really want to. But first we pick up this wave, and then afterwards we pick up the entire jungle to, to get like a lead against them. The blue, blue buff side is not really being taken that much this game. Ooh. Has not been stolen. Might find Rengar right here. Might not. 
nice. Every jungle camp has been taken. I wish I could push more, but I just can't do it. Really big fight in Baling. I think they might expect me to go this direction. Oh, nice. Got like one. Rengar always comes exactly when I don't expect it. I told you, like, I went from the... I went this path. And he instantly... Managed to figure it out and jumped on me. Okay. Let's retry. Revive. Another one. And another one. My whole team has been revived. Let's go, man. That's fantastic. Fager's top side. Let's push this. I can actually get my Infinity Edge right now. Ooh, this is gonna be the, the fun part of this game. Like, we're becoming so unbelievably fed, you have no idea. We're about to get this tower, finally, which opens up the map a little bit. I definitely will not stay after this wave. Because <laughs> I can confidently tell they will be walking this direction. Okay, let's get it. Uh, next thing is this one. So only thing we need is this item. I can tell you for a fact, if I get this item, I will become a raid boss, man. I already am. I have infinity edge right now. My damage is going to be super high, but I still need some defense in some way. Uh, this item will do that for me because I can auto attack from a long range. Doing a lot of damage before the fight even starts. That will make a massive difference. Hmm. Is somebody pushing top lane? Really? He actually continues to push top lane. Okay, we have to fight for dragon, so... Okay. Oh, I'll just press R. Make it easy. Oh, he's gonna go int mode for this. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> he just feed. Oh, he just feeds me like a thousand gold. Are you serious? Is that how you? Is that how you deal with, with the amount of gold? You run top lane. You feed it away. I appreciate. It. I got my item right now. That's massive. That's like a thousand gold. Just for free. Didn't do anything for this. Ooh. Well, he definitely saw me here. He's gonna jump up to me, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna die, bro. Or not. Maybe, maybe we're lucky here. Ah, he went top lane to jump on uh, uh, to jump on Gwen instead. Mm, somebody else will appear. I wonder if I can actually get another one. They will expect me to show up. He's still alone. I think he's going to go for the wave, so we just have to keep on staying here. I hate shooting them in the back. I don't get the oh, he's actually going to go into the river now. Whoa! Oh, that damage. 
Ah, it's the oh wow, he hit the W on me. Oh wow. Unbelievable. I actually just feed away like a massive shutdown on the Fagar. I have no chance against Fagar. He still beats me. I have so much damage, but this guy has got like 3k HP. <laughs> okay. Well, I could build this one. That would partially help. This guy has armor, so. Yeah, that's to be expected. Fagar is really fed as well. This is a really tough game. The fact that they have all these assassins, they can all jump on me. It's very annoying. Um, even Tom Kench has like a form of way of like jumping up to me. I kind of need my teammates to group, uh, group more right now. I wonder if they stole the blue buff. Let's see. They didn't. Well, we can uh, we can use Gwen like a bait. Oh, they can see what I'm doing. Never mind. They clearly saw what I was doing. Let's see, no, no Rengar. Okay. 4,000 HP, Fagar. What is this? And what in what world are we living in right now? What is this? This guy is like ultra tanky, man. Well, that's one. I think uh, he would jump on me? Actually, no, that's not the case. Hmm, it gets away. Uh, 2.2k gold. Hmm. I'm still like 800 away. Well, let's go again. I need uh, 600 gold and it's gonna make a big difference. I'm, I'm sure about this. I really wish I could play against this Vagar, but I can't, man. This guy's too strong. Could maybe catch? Oh, he's jumping around. Ah, I can reach him. Poof, the damage. <laughs> the damage. I bet you Rengar's gonna show, doesn't he? Like, Rengar's gonna delete me. <laughs> the long <blonde> damage. <laughs> it's like one W equals my entire HP bar. Unbelievable. This is like definitely a call for Baron, but like I don't know. In fact, this this could have even been potentially a game where we could finish. But yeah, whatever. Let's get that Baron away. 2.5k gold. I hope it's not gonna get stolen. Oh, really? He's gonna try and finish the game? Really? Oh, no. Oh, no. I need to back. The game is lost otherwise. This is sad. I can't do anything, actually. Oh, no. <laughs> Fager's gonna delete me. Is that really how we lost like two ways, bro? Oh, man. Hmm. 
He's not showing up. Well. <laughs> Very well done. We are officially maxed out. I, I can still replace my boots, but... Um, I'm not sure if I want to sell my boots. Not really sure if I want to. We could get a lot more damage off if we sell boots and get something else in return. Um, but we also could no longer kite. If that makes sense. Oh, this Vagar so tanky is it's unbelievable. I try getting the damage off of him. Nearly got caught inside of it. Unbelievable. Four auto attacks and Fager actually got it down. Really? You can't be serious, man. It, it really kind of comes down to my teammates right now to like try and uh, get full build. It's gonna take a while for this. How much more? I need like I need like one thousand for this one. Look how little I need. I'm gonna keep it for now. I was thinking about buying BF sword, but I don't. I won't. I'm gonna do it. Whoops. Okay, my teammates are dying in the worst possible moment. <laughs> That's terrible. No crit? Seriously? That's all I needed. <laughs> oh man. Okay, let's get some crit chance. Nice. You gotta check out my damage right now. I feel like this is where the game ends because we're losing every single on the head. Yeah, Fagar's top side. Okay. I bet you this Fagar's who can send the game. I'm uh, a little bit considering replacing my blade since we're <laughs> building towards a burst. My teammates are halfway with their build. Okay, I'll let the Warwick farm this one. My Warwick has got like two items on like full build already. <laughs> There's nothing I can do aside from just chilling out here. I'm just taking care of the wave. <laughs> but my teammates have so little damage. <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna let my teammates farm. Definitely not going to get caught by that one. Hold up. There's a wave right here. I kind of want my teammates to farm this one, but... Oh, this wave is so massive. Oh, well, yeah, I don't know, man. We got 19 kills. The entire enemy team is like ultra fed. We got really far. Can't complain. <laughs> hey, either way, this is Auction Top. Thanks so much for watching today. See the vid.
and I'll see you next time. Peace.